We're here at the spring Flemington luncheon. Yay, I can't wait. Lots of frocks. I love the spring racing carnival, my favourite week of the year. It is. It's all about hats, frills and maybe some spills because there's a bit of alcohol going on here today. <laughs> Let's get in there. beautiful hat or did, it, did you get a special melanated designer? Well I had someone make it for me because there's no way I could ever be this talented. <laughs> it's amazing, turn side on to show everyone. And, and did you get this made for this year or will you be wearing it to the races this year or have you worn it last year? Or? Well I spied it um, up in Brisbane, they had the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Festival and I was looking on websites for millinery for this spring carnival. And I've seen so many beautiful things. I, I've bought really just too much, but I told my husband it was on sale. Um, it's an Alexandra Harper from Brisbane, and she's also with the hat box up there. It's fabulous, fabulous. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a look at, I'm just gonna have the back view first. This is like wrapped around, now you can spin around. That hat is so amazingly detailed. Thank you very much. Okay, where did you get the hat from? Well, I'm actually a milliner, so it's mine. Oh, you made it. There's a lot of milliners around town this time of year. Well, Melbourne Spring Carnival, yeah, of course there is. Yep. Okay, Les, so let's talk about hat. I mean, it looks like you've wet it, moulded it. Yeah, and steam. So you know a little bit about hat making then, don't you? Yeah. Shh, my little secret, keeping it in the closet there. So how long did it take you? Um, this was, well it wasn't, wasn't made in a day because there's dry, drying yep. periods, so hand work probably four or five hours, but it was made over three days. Wow, so wh where do you get the idea from? Where, how do you do all that? Um, basically it was more about the, the material I was using, yep. it's called ginseng, it's only been around for probably the last three seasons, so okay. it was just experimenting and see what I could actually get away with, with doing it. So how many piles have you got over in the, the bin? <laughs> well there is some, yeah there is some that don't yeah. work okay. out, no. Okay, can't reuse them? No, 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 no it's just forget and, yeah. So obviously the back, is it's made for your head because it's quite, is there sewing involved as well? Or? Yeah, because yeah. what it is, it, it, you steam it on the yeah. block and, and leave it to dry and then you actually have to attach it so yeah. that it doesn't doesn't come apart. So it's custom made, so you would custom make a lot of people's hats then, yes? I do, I do. I think that's just awesome. Should be in an art gallery, what do you think? Damien from Vogue, so do you ever wear a man hat to the races? Uh, not really, I have an abnormally large head, so I ignore the hats and leave that to the women. Really, and so what do you see as being the big colour for this spring carnival? I think we'll see a lot of nudes. Um, I think the nude trend is so strong, it's so flattering. Um, most women can carry it off. Um, as long as you can sort of stop yourself from spilling the hors d'oeuvres, you should be fine. That's so true. So uh, you'll be at every day this year at the races? Yeah, it's going to be a special year for the 150th anniversary, so coming down for Derby Day. Uh, sounds like there's a lot of surprises for Oaks Day. And we may even stay as long as Stakes Day this year, so it's a big commitment. Here, jacket, hat, jewelry, the whole thing. It, 
it's all happening. That's what it's all about. I'm I'm not into nudes. I'd look terrible in nudes. So I'm what not... is it about the nude this season? Well, it's you know it's that seasonal thing that happens. So you know, light, bland, and beige for me. Nude on, chuck the nude no, on, and you're yeah. meant to look fine. I think it's going to work really beautifully for young women. Yep. But for us older chicks, we need a bit of colour. Bit of I glamour. think so. And I guess the good thing tonight, you get a drunk and you can hail a taxi. They're going to notice you. Absolutely. You, know, well, you can't yeah. lose me in a crowd. No, can you cannot. I saw you from the other end of this building. <laughs> oh, well, well done. Well spotted. Yes, well spotted. You can't, can't miss. Now, where did you get the hat from? It's a Philip Rhodes hat. Um, I use him exclusively as my milliner. So. You've got your private milliner? <laughs> I have indeed. Are they expensive? Uh, they can be because yeah. particularly if they're made specifically for an outfit as this one was. So it depends. What are we talking about? Well, you're probably talking about 500 rand. Wow. Um, but for your standard run of the mill, 250, 280, 350, somewhere around there. So how do you reuse a $500 hat? How do you get the use out I've of it? I've been here before. Oh, okay. This is this is in fact the second coming. Is that a bad thing though? No, I think it's a great thing. So you can do that. Oh, absolutely. And it's really interesting. The hats you recycle are the ones you really love, and I really love this one. There's a lot of pastels going on. I'm not sure if I like pastels this year, to be honest. I don't know if it suits me. So I'm, I, I, I like Derby Day because I get to wear my black and white, which is my tradition. But um, yeah, there's, yeah, there's a bit of a blast of colour this year, which will be interesting. A lot of on those nude shades and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, I've been to a few runway parades this week as part of, you know, Spring Fashion Week, and I have noticed that there's a lot of, yeah, beiges and really, really, um, you know, like the nudes and the mushrooms and, and the tans. There's a bit of leather going on for spring, which I thought was a bit of fun. Love a bit of leather. Now, are you going to wear a hat? Yes, look, uh, I have been a bit naughty today. I haven't I haven't got a headpiece on today, but um, it's, a, it's a weekday lunch, so I have come straight from work. But ultimately, when you go to the races, if you don't wear something in your hair, it's a really bad thing to do, bad form. So um, I am going to make sure I, at the races I will be wearing something on my head. Excellent. Have fun today. There'll be a lot more fashion, a huge amount more fun, and a few celebrities right after the break. Keep watching. Sitting at table 50, I'm joined here with a face. How does it feel to be the face? The face of Melbourne Spring yeah. Fashion Week, yes. No, um, I'm very honoured, very proud to be the face of Melbourne Spring Fashion Week. It's um, kind of a bit of a, a dream come true as such, as a okay. Melbourne model, to be representing um, my city in uh, the, the industry that I love. So is it you have to be a local? I think it's definitely preferred, being a Melbourne girl. So I I know what uh, Melbourne fashion's all about, and I'm in the industry. So um, to represent uh, Melbourne Spring Fashion Week, I think you definitely need to be passionate about our local um, our, our local fashion fashion definitely and the industry. So what's in store for you? Obviously you're going to have a huge time being on your shoes in the fashion, a lot of hats, a lot of everything. What's the routine? Going to fashion events, going to charity events, um, wearing amazing dresses, having amazing an amazing um, creative team around me. It's, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself after after it's finished. You're going to be lost. You'll be like back to the old model, modelling world. What next? Exactly, exactly right. Alex Favola at this beautiful lunch. Are you having a good time? I am. 
Graham, it's been a fantastic day. Do you normally wear a hat to the races? <laughs> yeah, mine's under my table. <laughs> no, you know, I, I didn't have a chance to go shopping. I did have a headpiece, but I bought it for a different race day and I was going to wear it and I thought, no, I actually didn't realise so many people would have headwear on, so. Alex has I'm just sure. done an amazing job on Dancing with the Stars. She was so fantastic. I'm so impressed. Thank you. Did you love it? Was it exhausting? I absolutely had a ball on that show. And, you know, everyone on the cast has did the same thing. It was just the most fun experience. And um, so it was emotional for you as well, because I saw you, you got a lot from it. It sort of gave you sort of even more confidence, I think. Oh, it did, definitely. Um, initially, when I began, I was very nervous, and I felt like I perhaps made the wrong decision. But then... As the weeks went on, I just um, I just felt more and more confident. It was from all the support that I had from not just people in the public and my friends and family, but even the cast and the production. So yeah, it gave me more confidence every week. Here in Flemington Racecourse, now I'm just down here because you guys have got a goodie bag and I want to do a raid. Come on, let's, let's open the goodie bag and see what you get. A very, oh my God, that weighs a kilo, at least. Okay, what are you getting? Hairspray. Hairspray, like every girl needs that because you've got to get your hair right, you've got to do all that. What a, vitamins, you never know. A uh, little bit of drinking at the, uh, oh, shadow. Is that your colour? It is. It will do. It will, it will be now, that's for sure. Coffee. Oh, coffee, because you're going to need a pep up. There's magazines, there's drinks, there's more vitamins, lollies, and of course the essential beauty cream. Beauty cream. By L'Oreal, because you're worth it. Absolutely. Now tell us a bit about yourself. You've got a little hat going on. It's a little a hair piece, yes? So you can do it in the races. You're preparing for the races? Definitely. What do you like about the races? Um, winning the money. <laughs> uh, uh, so you bet big, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. It's the atmosphere, it's the fashion, it's everything. It comes alive, Melbourne. for the Spring Racing Carnival. Haven't got the hat quite yet, but I'm looking for something with a leopard print scarf around it, so. I detect an accent, have you been to Ascot? I have, I have, I've done all the, the scene in London. How does it compare to ours? Oh, you guys, every woman has a hat here. You guys take it to a whole nother level. I love, I love the Spring Carnival. Oh, I love to hear that, that's fabulous. Yeah, have you bought any? Well, this is my Lisa Ho, this season's Lisa Ho, and I'm struggling with the hat to match it. But um, yeah, no, I've, I've got a few, few that I've got my eye on. So you'll wear this to Derby Day, do you think? I think so. I think so, yeah, once I get the hat sorted. It's good to get a couple of wears out of these dresses, isn't it? I think, you know, I think I'm wearing it today, I wore it last week. I think I'm going to, I've promised my husband I'll bring it down to $20 a wear by the end of it. Obviously at my, you got Danny working for DJs. How does that work? Does that double your wardrobe? <laughs> I wish. She's in women's wear and if I get caught wearing any of that, then I'm out. So do you have like the bell at home? Who's better? Um, no, we don't have that argument yet. Her stuff isn't in, in the store yet, so we, we might do. Yep. We might have, a, uh, might have a bit of a chance. I can see future fights going on here. Yeah, I'll yeah. win. So it, it's a contract. I mean, it's all fashion anyway, isn't it, really? Now, you're up on stage, you're doing a bit of catwalk, but girls have been screaming. What is it What is it that you have? I have no idea. I've never, ever received that kind of warm and welcoming before. I mean, I've had a few whistles every now and again, but that was my mum when she oh, was okay. here. I mean, I've never had anybody else doing that. So it, you just know how to strut the stuff, yeah? I wish. I wish. I don't, I don't know what it is. Must be the new haircut. Could be the new haircut. Could That's be the new baby. Could be anything. Really. Keep the hair. Keep, Keep the, the hair. hair. So what are you wearing? Well, tell me about the outfit. 
This is um, Don Bagnato. The shoes are by Wayne Cooper. Um, Don Bagnato fitted me for all of my suits last year and will be doing again this year. So do you have to get tailored? Do they do tailoring as well? Yeah, I'm sure yeah. They, they do alterations in my as well. If it doesn't fit you, fit you specifically, then... So they know. offer that service. You can go in, put a suit on, go, you know what, that's just too short. They'll fix it all up for you. Yeah, and, and if the guys don't do it there, there's an alterations actually in the Maya store where you can go and get fitted. to the. Because you're like, what, six foot four? Six three, yeah. Three, I was close. Obviously very difficult to fit into a suit at times. Yeah, to get it off a rack, because I've got kind of a, an odd body shape as well. My shoulders kind of go quite wide and then the waist cuts in, so um, it's, it's a bit difficult to get that right fit, but don't pull it up. And especially I noticed like the, the longer the pan, the wider the waist. That's right, that's right. And uh, so the waist gets taken a little bit and then take a little bit off the leg. Like, you'd have to start on a 36 waist. No, I'm no. at 33. Wait. But that's what I mean. Yeah. But to get a, that length, yeah. I mean, you'd it become half yeah, mass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three quarter suits are in. We're here at the ladies' luncheon at Flemington, and there'll be more after the break. This is the most incredible hat. Did you get that specially made for this outfit? No, I didn't actually. I was very lucky though. It just complemented the outfit. So, is it one that you've worn in past years? It is. Dumb. Me too. Past year. <laughs> Yes, I actually got it designed for Derby Day last year. It's actually great to be able to recycle your hats, so because women put so much money into them, don't they, that it's nice to get another wear. You don't feel guilty that way. <laughs> exactly. Have a great line. Thank you. Hats and frocks, that's all it is, that's all I see is hats and frocks and I'm sure you're all talking about hats and frocks. We totally are, <laughs> yeah. Alright, talk about the hats first. Hats. What are you wearing? I've no idea, I just bought it off. Okay, okay. where do you buy it? Um, just locally in Mini Ponds, there's oh, okay. a shop there. Sure. Yeah, cute so little. you're just a spontaneous hat purchaser? I am, absolutely. I am a very new hat purchaser, okay. if I may say virgin hat purchaser. I've never purchased a hat before, besides this one. Unusual? So, Feel weird? It feels strange. It doesn't feel like it's on. I feel like it's going to fall off. No, no, it looks pretty secure. And tell us about you. Obviously, you've done this before. <laughs> um, this actually was the last minute I borrowed from a friend because I couldn't find anything to match the dress. So. Is it a panic for a hat? It can be because it sometimes is a big decision whether you buy the dress first and then find the hat to match or the hat first and then the dress to match. So. Now, do you own any of your own hats? Yes, absolutely. So you got a wardrobe. What do you do with them? How do you keep them? Hat boxes. Yeah. And do you reuse them? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, there's been a couple, you know, sort of the black and white, more classic ones that you can reuse with, with some things. Some are just colours that... It's I really, it's a seasonal thing, isn't it, with Melbourne? It's cup and that's really it. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> So new hat for this event or recycled from last year? Recycled, borrowed from my sister-in-law, dropped off at the gym this morning. Excellent, you look great and, and what, who's designed your dress? Lennon Theodore and Benji Shu. Very nice, and so are you all ready for the races? No, <laughs> no I am, I've got a beautiful dress for Derby and shoes, I haven't got a, a Fufungator yet. Hello everyone and good afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen, it gives me on the main floor, I have to, I actually have to crouch down there and go, oh my goodness, how many birds died for that hat? I don't know, but I actually lost one in the car park as well. Oh, really? Are you molting? <laughs> yes, I was. And you got to hear the birds of a feather stick together. You're with the girls, yeah? Always, always. What brings you here? Um, we're from Anthea Crawford. Where, Where did you, you get that hat from? We actually, we got it from our office. I found it, resurrected it from uh, the old vault at Anthony Crawford's. So it's not roadkill or anything like that? No, no. not at all. <laughs> not it's at fantastic. All. I'm sure you're going to get a lot of comments about that. I have already, yeah. yes, I have. Well, don't lose any more feathers. Not at all. All of you guys stick together. <laughs>
Nick Holland, the ambassadors for Spring Racing Carnival. Are you having a great day? Having the best time. How can we not with John Stevens up there singing? And you are a milliner, and I heard you mention before that bows are going to be big. Bows are very big this season. Big bows or small bows, just as a detail. So how did you become the ambassador? Um, Myra approached us and we had a meeting and then we're, I mean, I was all for it, the whole fashion aspect, which is the only thing I love about the races. And, and, <laughs> and Nick loves horse racing, so that was what he liked, so it was just a natural fit. I've been to many a race where I haven't even seen the horse. Yeah, of course. Some people think that it's about spring racing carnivals about horse racing, but it's not. It's about fashion. Absolutely. Have a great lunch. Thank you very much. So I'm, I'm here at the main hall, fashion show, a lot of lunch. How are you enjoying it? Loving it. Yeah. Come every year. Every year? Every year. Does it get bigger and better every year? Bigger and better every year. Nine years ago, there was only about 300 people here. Wow. Now I believe there's 700 people here. You're going to need a new venue. Fantastic. Have you got your outfit for Cup there? I don't, but I've got some great ideas. Not long to go. No, not long to go. So what are you going to do? Shop. Panic. Are you no. a panic buyer? No, I'm no. not. Okay, that's a day at Maya, isn't I'm it? Those people that just go there, yeah. look at it, yeah. and say, yep, that'll do. Oh, you're the world's easiest shopper. Hats are about a personal choice. And yes, the pillbox is still very strong. You have to explain to me, what does a pillbox mean? Okay, well, a pillbox is based on the shape of a little pillbox. This is generally a round shape with a square, with a very flat side wall. So it's like a little pillbox. It was really brought into high fashion by Jackie Kennedy. The what people call the fascinator is very strong. Um, it's hard to say. It's like, because fashion is running everything from the very streamlined silhouette through to the wasted 50s look, even a 60s more shift-like shape as well. We saw it on the catwalk here today in a Pucci dress. Um, that, that, that shift like shape as well. So you wear something that suits your shape and suits the colour of the dress you're wearing. Whatever you feel happy and fun in, I think it's about. Fascinator, I like the fingers when you do that. What does that actually mean as well? Well, it's a very vexed issue, the fascinator issue. I've had people come up to me and ask for a fornicator, a pacifier, um, what else was there? Um, a quiet, now all these other things because they get the fascinator thing mixed up. A fascinator is generally a smaller piece that sits on the side of the head which is basically insubstantial. Well, I hope you're not too drunk. That was a fun I lunch. It was very good. I only had one. It was beautiful, though. One of those beautiful red cocktails. What a great event. Well, this is one of the best events to come to and put it on your calendar for next year.